What's up, everybody, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are talking about some exciting updates to the channel itself and the offerings uh, alongside it in terms of merchandising. So, uh, I have been in talks with different companies and stuff like that to try to figure out how to move away from using Teespring as our merch provider. Currently, we are using Teespring, and it's just not great. Teespring is a uh, weird company that has some weird practices that are not my favorite, and uh, therefore their products aren't really the highest quality. Uh, one of the biggest problems with Teespring is that they're really just kind of a contracting agency. So they provide, uh, they have a bunch of different people that print for them, right? So they got a bunch of different companies that work for them that print for them. And uh, essentially what happens is if you order something off of Teespring, that is getting printed, you know, at uh, whatever facility. So Teespring takes your order and then they send that to one of their printers and then the printer prints it and then ships it to you directly from the printer usually. Now that works fine, but uh, it kind of creates some problems um, in terms of quality control because different printers are going to be uh, utilizing this technology and you know they're going to be using a random facility every time for each order. The quality of the print changes dramatically from order to order. So sometimes you'll get a perfect print that has great quality and sometimes you're going to get a kind of bad print that has low quality. And that's just not good, especially when it comes to people buying products related to Arch channel. Like, that's just not cool. Um, unfortunately, Teespring was really the only option when we got started because it's very hard. Like, me and Brandon do not have the time to be making products and then, you know, shipping those products ourselves. Like, that. that is so much time and energy that's required for something like that. So, we had to use Teespring. However, uh, now there's some really cool, exciting stuff. We partnered with a company called Fourth Wall, and I've been working closely with them to develop a range of products that'll be available on a new relaunched version of the website. Um, one of the biggest differences is with Teespring, what happens is uh, different shirts like this one, uh, they all have uh, different manufacturers, right? So uh, let's see here. I have one, I have one shirt. This is the Stitched Steel uh, paradigm shirt that got printed, and you can read right here, it says Gildan, right? It says Gildan on the label. Um, similarly, on this shirt, uh, if you actually turn it around and look at the label, it would say District on the label, right? Those are the original manufacturers of the shirts themselves, and then the companies take these shirts and they print on them. Now, Gildan makes fine stuff and District makes fine stuff, but the problem with Teespring is that you don't get to pick what they're actually printing onto. So when somebody orders a shirt in whatever color, essentially they're just figuring out what they have available and then they're printing it in, you know, on whatever shirt and then sending that out. And so the quality of the shirt is going to change dramatically with every order, which is another big problem. And so with fourth wall, what I'm able to do is actually select the exact type of shirt that I want. And so I went through all the different shirts I have, and this is from one of my favorite uh, music artists, Kishi Bashi. Um, so this is some of his merch. And you can see it's printed on a Bella Plus Canvas shirt, right? A Bella in Canvas. Bella and Canvas was the best quality shirts I could find. And so I went and uh, it turns out we can use Bella and Canvas. So now all of our products, all of our shirts are going to be printed on Bella and Canvas base shirts. And these things are super stretchy, really nice color and so soft. Like, oh my God, it is the softest shirt I've ever touched. So Bella and Canvas is absolutely top quality in my opinion. And that's why I'm very excited to be moving to this new store setup where we can actually select the quality of the products that we're giving out and making sure that people get exactly what they ordered, you know, in a very high quality fashion. So Bella and Canvas is top tier and I'm very excited for that. Um, so uh, that is currently only available to the Patreon supporters right now because the offerings on the website are limited almost exclusively to the t-shirts and some hoodies. Um, so right now I'm currently working on adding other stuff. There will be stuff like an embroidered... Um, 
uh, fanny pack. So it's like a fanny pack thing that'll be embroidered. So you can either wear it as a fanny pack or you can actually wear it as a uh, body sling. So it's a body sling slash fanny pack thing. That's super exciting. Um, we've got dad hats that are going to be embroidered. Those are on the way as well. So there's all sorts of products um, coming you know, as like ideas here. Um, and so there's a lot of cool stuff, but currently it's only available to the Patreon supporters just because, you know, it's it's a test right now. It's a work in progress. I will be changing it so that when you go to willhirsch.gay, it will just go to the new store and you can get whatever products you want. Um, and I'm actually, I am probably, at least for the moment, going to be leaving the Teespring store open. Uh, I'm just going to be removing uh, most of the products from it. So I'm going to be removing stuff like uh, the shirts, and all that'll be left is stuff like the pillows, which only Teespring offers, and like maybe the cups and stuff like that. So currently there's stuff that we can't do on fourth wall, but as soon as we can do it on fourth wall, I will be taking it off of Teespring and moving it there. So yeah, expect that changeover to happen relatively relatively soon. There's also a lot more customization we can do. We can literally build our own website from the ground up with fourth wall, which is way better than Teespring, which has very little control over the website itself. So yeah, get, get excited for that because there's a, there's a lot coming um, in the future. Alongside that, another update in terms of merchandise is this thing right here that I've been pulling my ballast songs out of. This is a custom Pelican case from MyCaseBuilder.com. And after I had this one built, I actually reached out to my case builder and said, hey, a lot of my fans are wondering, you know, how I built my case. So I made a tutorial on it, but what if I made my own designs and then you guys made those and my fans could buy it? And they were like, oh, that sounds like a great idea. And so that's exactly what we did. So now these cases, uh, they're not available yet, but I've been working with my case builder to develop a number of cases like this, starting from relatively cheap to something like this, which is actually pretty expensive. Um, so the cases should start around the like $50 to even potentially less than $50 range. And I think they'll hold around like eight balisongs for 50 bucks. And it's like, it'll be like a plastic case that you can like open and it'll be custom cut like this. It'll have printing with the logo inside of it. Um, it should be really, really cool. So look forward to that because that's going to be coming very soon. And uh, I'm, I'm really, really excited for this. My case builder just has the best quality when it comes to cutting these specific cases. And, you know, for me, when I think about it, I'm like, say somebody has even, you know, it, the, the starting case, I think, has eight slots for balisongs, which uh, is a number, you know, that's a, that's a pretty good amount of balisongs, all things considered. But even if you only have, say, like three balisongs, you know, two or three balisongs, if you have two or three balisongs that cost you like 150 bucks a piece, it would make sense to buy this case for $50 because the case itself will protect your balisongs better than anything else you could buy. You know what I mean? And so for only 50 bucks, which is like a fraction of the amount you have spent on eight balisongs, you can protect all of them in a custom way in like this, you know, case that's like made of solid plastic and stuff like that. And then it'll go up from there. So I think there's, you know, the first one I made was eight. And then after that, I think there's one with like 10 and then 15 or 20. And then finally, uh, there's this big boy. I think there's five, it's either four or five different designs. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, but the, the top one is going to be basically an exact replica of my full case here. Um, that has the dual layered design where there's Spa uh, space storage underneath, and then you have uh, enough space for like 40 balisongs, <laughs> which is quite a lot of space. So yeah, you you uh, the the one that holds like 40 balisongs will be pretty expensive. I think it'll be around like $400, which sounds like a lot, but if you're a balisong collector who is has collected, you know, like 40 balisongs, well, if each one of those balisongs costs like $300, that's already a crap ton of money and a lot of times if you collect bow songs like that they don't all cost three hundred dollars a number of them cost more than a thousand dollars so having a case like this is a no-brainer uh, in terms of protecting your collection and keeping it all safe in one spot and so i'm very 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 excited to be working with uh, my case builder on this um, so yeah, we went through the design process, tried a couple different designs. I, you know, iterated on it. We talked to the guy that's actually like the CEO 
CEO of my case builder and he helped us figure out, you know, what was the best designs. He's super knowledgeable about this. And I mean, he should be, he is the CEO of the company, but he knew everything there was to know and helped us out and like made sure that all the designs were perfect. So yeah, I am extraordinarily excited for this upcoming uh, release. So that'll actually release directly on the My Case Builder website when it comes time. Uh, currently right now, we are waiting for the first samples to come in. And so once we get those samples, we'll take a bunch of, uh, we'll make sure that they're good, first of all. And then once we've made sure they're good, we're also gonna take a bunch of pictures with them, you know, like, and, and kind of get everything set up and make sure that like you you guys are getting the best quality product for the price because that's you know that's really the goal here and that was something that i was really wanting to focus on was to make sure that i got that um initial starting price of the case below fifty dollars because i think that's a reasonable price that most people can afford you know even if you don't have a lot of money if you save it up for a little bit you can probably afford a fifty dollar investment especially when it's going to be protecting hundreds of dollars worth of balisongs so that was why I wanted to make it as accessible as possible, and I'm really, really happy with some of the options that we were kind of uh, given through this collaboration. So, yeah, look forward to that. It's going to be really, really freaking cool and uh, is something that I have been thinking about literally since the first time I made a case after I had started the YouTube channel. Like, I had once the YouTube channel had kind of taken off and you guys saw my, uh, my original little yellow pelican case, I had thought for a while, like, man, I would really like to make some custom balisong specific pelican cases because you know nobody has that nobody's doing that and i think it's a really underutilized category you know currently if you want a pelican case like this you need to have at least some uh knowledge as to how you know design computer-aided design cad design works right um you know because you have to design it yourself and build all of this and so i was like what if i just use my knowledge and my skill in that category and make products that you can just buy without having to have any of that knowledge. <laughs> and so, yeah, I am, uh, I'm very excited for this. It's gonna be a really, really, really cool collaboration for uh, the community, hopefully. And then, as I said, on top of that, uh, the stuff with fourth wall means higher quality shirts and uh, it also means potential for different products in the future because I can actually have custom made things, either things that I'm making or things that I'm like ordering from a supplier and then like manufacturing. And then I can send those to fourth wall and then fourth wall can distribute them. So if somebody checks out on the website and buys something that is like a custom made item, I don't need to worry about going out and shipping every single one of those. Something I was thinking about was my little pouch here. This is actually a custom made pouch that I've created. So it's got space for my camera that I'm wearing right now and other stuff in it. And it's got spots for pins on the front. And then it's got this belt clip back here, right? And inside of there is a piece of plastic uh, and it's kind of screwed together into it. And so this is a fully custom thing. This is originally supposed to go on a belt. I removed the uh, molly straps that would go on a belt and instead I added this clip. And it's really, really nice and you can just clip it on the side of your pants without having to wear a belt. And that's exactly what I do with it. And so uh, I would love to make something like that available. But the problem is what I would have to do is I would have to order like 25 to 50 of those and then I would have to make all of them myself by hand. And so they'd be relatively expensive. And then also if I had like 25 to 50, I can't, I can't be shipping 25 to 50 items at my local USPS. Like that is, that's crazy talk to me. So <laughs> uh, utilizing fourth wall, I'm able to actually, you know, send them uh, all of the items if I was to make this and then let you guys buy them directly from that website. And so that, is another one of those things that's like very exciting to me in terms of an idea. Like it's just something I had never thought of before. And now that it's an option, I'm like, oh man, that sounds great. So yeah, that's a little update on the channel on things that are happening. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you have a wonderful day. So uh, let, me, let me get a shirt in here for the thumbnail. Cause I just, I always just use pictures from the, uh, from the thing for the thumbnail. And so I'm just going to be like, hey guys, this is the thumbnail now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>